Jack was a child who was happiest alone in his bedroom. A naturally shy boy, he didn't have many friends. Instead of spending his days playing football in the park with all the other kids from school, he would stay inside, assembling his prized collection of model aeroplanes. His favourites were from World War II, the Lancaster Bomber, the Hurricane, and of course his grandfather's old plane, the now legendary Spitfire. On the Nazi side, he had models of the Dornier Bomber, the Junkers, and the Spitfire's deadly nemesis, the Messerschmitt. With great care, Jack would paint his model planes, then fix them to the ceiling with fishing wire. Suspended in the air, they looked like they were in the middle of a dramatic dogfight. At night, he would stare up at them from his bunk bed and drift off to sleep dreaming he was an RAF flying ace, just like his grandfather once was. The boy kept a picture of Grandpa by his bed. He was a young man in the old black-and-white photograph. It was taken some time in 1940, at the height of the Battle of Britain. Grandpa was standing proudly next to his beloved Spitfire. In his dreams, Jack would go up, up, and away, just like his grandfather had. The boy would have given everything he had, all of his past and all of his future, for one moment behind the controls of that legendary fighter plane. In his dreams, he would be a hero. In his life, he felt like a zero. The problem was that each day was exactly the same. He would go to school every morning, do his homework every afternoon, and eat his dinner in front of the television every night. If only he wasn't so shy. If only he had lots of friends. If only he could break free from his boring life.